We adopted our son when he was two years old, and we started to notice some antisocial behavior around 12 to 13. He was having trouble getting along with his peers in school, fighting and not listening to his teachers, not doing his homework. We would deal with his outburst by taking his phone away or taking his Xbox away. When Cam was 16, he started to smoke marijuana. He was stealing alcohol from grocery stores, getting in fights and stealing from his friends, saying he's going to kill himself. He would punch the walls. He would actually put his head in the wall. I was afraid for my safety. I called law enforcement to have them come out to the house, and I wanted them to take him to jail because I could no longer control him, and they would not take him to jail. They would just write up reports. He would say, Mom, I can do whatever I want. The cops aren't going to do anything. And that is exactly the truth. My son is currently in a community correctional facility because he committed assault and hurt his friend really bad. And he is supposed to get out the day I'm on the Dr. Phil show. I'm angry because the system has failed me and all I want to do is get help for my son. Okay, Michelle, how has the system failed you? Uh, so I believe that um, it has to do, number one, with the police. You know, they would come to our house and write the reports again and again and again, and then they would leave. They just didn't do anything. They didn't inform us about the, the, the courts and how they work, and we didn't know what was going on. We were very confused, and um, so... Who is they? The police. Well, it's not their job to advise you. Okay. Their job is to enforce the law. Okay. They're not social workers. R right. Th they're not attorneys. It's their job to enforce the law if they will. Okay. But responsibility for parenting is with the parents. And you're not going to delegate that to the system. Now, the system can provide resources, but the police can't parent your children. The system can't parent your children, you've got to do that. And I, I know you're not asking the police to raise your child, but at some point that responsibility, you got to realize that starts with the parent. Right. And your son's been locked up for a year and a half? Yes. And you said he, he assaulted his friend and hurt him seriously? Correct. How seriously? Permanently. <clears throat> And there are consequences for that, right? Yes. Well, also joining this conversation is policy director at the Pacific Juvenile Defenders Center and the community-based public safety collective in Los Angeles, Elisa Blair. You, you have a lot of thoughts and feelings about this, right? Absolutely. I don't believe in detention. I'm an abolitionist. You think there shouldn't even be juvenile detention? Not as presently constituted, right? So when you think about incarceration, the sole purpose is incapacitation or removal from communities so that there isn't further harm caused. But it shouldn't harm especially a child because they're going to return. So you, you put young people into these detention centers and frequently that becomes an additional factor, a risk factor for further criminal behavior because of what they learn, because of the trauma they experience there. Even one night of separation, right, can, can have the traumatizing effect. And like hearing Bryce acknowledge and name that he has PTSD and ADHD, there are specific treatments, there's specific pathways. And the system treats every child with this cookie cutter, like, oh, you need a therapist. But it's the equivalent of saying, I'm having a heart problem and sending someone to a podiatrist and saying, well, we sent you to a doctor. Okay, and I, I understand that at a policy level, but when you've got someone in Santiago's situation here and his son has stolen a car, and not once, multiple times, now he's impacted a police officer who's had to be airlifted in a life-threatening situation, there comes a point where you have to suppress the behavior. You have to protect the community. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.